guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is my 38 week pregnancy update slash vlog um, so uh, yeah a lot of things went down this week if you guys watched my 37 week pregnancy update as you can tell I'm in a much better mood from that video um, I basically told you guys that I got some disturbing news from the ultrasound technician I went to which if you haven't seen that video I will link it on the screen here and also down below but this week was much better I went to my actual doctor and got real facts so I will talk to you guys about that a bit later in the video but to start off the video I actually wanted to do a giveaway I know a ton of you guys are pregnant I mean obviously you're watching these pregnancy videos for a reason and yeah I wanted to give away something that I personally would love to have in my little girl's nursery and I teamed up with a Etsy shop owner her Etsy shop name is enchanted pendulosity and she makes the most beautiful custom handmade mobiles so this one is still kind of wrapped up and this is the exact one that I'll be shipping myself to give away so if you guys have a little girl or if you just like pink um, on your mobile then definitely go ahead and check out how you can enter below I will leave all the rules for you on how you can enter but this is still wrapped up, so you can't really see, but this is kind of what you'll get. Actually, this is what you're gonna get, this exact one, um, if you win the giveaway. It's a little mobile with 3D butterflies on it, and it comes down more because they all expand. And it's basically wrapped in like twine, which I think is really cute for a more rustic look, and it's very girly, and it's right up my alley. But definitely check out her shop if you're looking for mobiles for your nursery. Um, there's a ton of different designs to choose from. I think they have some with birds that look like if they're on like um like twigs or something it's really cool or little airplanes for boys they have clouds she also has more Christmas themed ones with snowflakes and just a bunch of different stuff so yeah I will leave a link to her shop below and all of her social channels to where you can find her but yeah so let's go ahead and get on with the pregnancy update so like I said I'm 38 weeks pregnant which I don't really feel super heavy and I think that's because my baby is not a huge baby as you guys know so in last week's update I was very concerned and I, I just that video was terrible honestly but I basically told you guys that I went to an ultrasound that they sent me to in my third trimester which is kind of rare at least it is in the United States um, from what I'm hearing from you guys and the ultrasound technician told me that my baby was on the smaller side I just feel like when you're a new mom like a first-time mom and you're expecting you're already hormonal and anything that can tip you off you just cling to that information and it's just not good so I started googling things which I mean people say don't do it but I feel like there's never been a mom who's not gonna google something um, and look at forums and all that stuff it's just I guess how you take it um, but yeah so I googled a bunch of stuff I was on all these forums like having a small baby I asked you guys if it was normal and thank you so much for your response I got an overwhelming um, amount of comments and emails from women that were saying I had a six pound baby it's not a big deal I had a five pound even or I had a preemie and it was fine so yeah you guys brought me a lot of inner peace knowing that not every baby turns out to be nine or ten pounds I don't know why I thought that so anyways I went to the ultrasound last week and I couldn't really get the results from the guy he was just giving me I feel like misinformed information I don't really feel like ultrasound texts are authorized or they shouldn't be giving new mom or pregnant women information because they should first send it to a lab and then let the doctor tell them but I was basically listening to the ultrasound tech who was telling me that my baby was measuring at 35 weeks instead of 37 and he was telling me that my due date was wrong and I was like uh, I don't think so so I started looking everything up and you basically are not supposed to go off your ultrasounds done in your third or even second trimester the most accurate one is your very first one in your first trimester so yeah I was freaking out because he was just telling me all this stuff and I was like what are you talking about my due date's wrong he was like you should be delivering in January on the 4th or the 5th and I was like uh, that is not December 21st like what is wrong so yesterday Doug and I saw my actual doctor um, and she was not concerned at all she got the results back she said that my baby was almost already um, six pounds so I already have a six pound baby I don't know what that guy was talking about so yeah ultrasounds can be so skewed especially when you're further along in your pregnancy and that's kind of what I've learned like take everything with a grain of salt because especially hearing your guys's feedback so many of you guys were telling me that you had an ultrasound and then they told you your baby was I don't know like six pounds and then you ended up having a nine pound baby so it's just crazy um, but yeah my doctor said that everything looks fine she measured the longest bone in your body the femur and she said it was long so I have a long baby I don't really know 
we'll see if that's the case but Doug has really long limbs and a short torso so maybe that's where my baby gets it because I am short person my whole family's short um so yeah I thought that was interesting and then we saw a bunch of hair like on the like above the scalp and yeah so apparently she already has hair which is not surprising looking at Doug and I um and yeah my doctor said that she's probably going to turn out to be six to seven pounds so I'm not even worried anymore and that was all for nothing me and my mom were like freaking out for no reason that ultrasound tech guy just scared us I don't know so yeah I'm very excited everything is going good I feel really good I don't really have any different cravings I mean I eat fruit all the time so yeah fruit is for sure a craving especially in the second and third trimester I can eat like a fruit with every meal or a piece of fruit and yeah so the nursery is almost done I'm just waiting for a teepee to come um, one of those little kids teepees which I know you guys are gonna see my nursery tour and be like you don't need that you're not gonna use that but it's like I don't even think it's for your baby I don't know well I feel like when you set up a nursery it's really for the mom to just nest because I mean chances are your baby's not even gonna be really put in the nursery nine times out of ten hearing your guys's responses um, until she's a bit older so yeah, and we also got the Halo bassinet, which you guys will have seen in a vlog. And so far, I really like it. I mean, I have no idea. I can't really do a review on it, but it looks good so far. So we have the bassinet, a crib, the dock -a tot for travel, and that's all we really have for like sleeping contraptions. I think that's enough. I don't think I need to buy anything else. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a few other stuff that I picked up throughout the past like two weeks. I always forget to do like little hauls in these videos and that's always what I like to see. So the first thing I got are these little baby photo cards. This is very unnecessary but super necessary if you're a crazy mom like me. So these are from Milestone and basically you got 30 cards to capture and remember your baby's first year. So the first card says today I smiled for the first time and you put it next to your baby and like take a picture with and then you write the date on the bottom and you don't really have to take a picture you can just keep this and then write the date and there's like today I slept through the night for the first time today I rolled over which it, I was showing Doug all these cards and he's like rolled over people document that and I'm like yeah it's an exciting thing if they can even he, I don't even think Doug knows that babies can't hold their head up we're gonna seriously be we're all gonna be surprised when he sees his baby today I ate solid food Today I sat up, got my first tooth, random stuff. So yeah, I thought these were really cute. So I will link all this stuff below for you guys if you're interested. Um, okay, so that's that. The second thing I kind of showed in a vlog, but this is from a brand called Love to Dream. And it's the stage one swaddle up. And it basically says that it's good for a more natural sleeping position. And then it says self-soothing equals more sleep. So it looks like this. I'm gonna show you guys this little baby on the back. I'll zoom in, but it looks so funny. So I thought I would open this up. Oh, this is so tiny. So I guess they sleep in this little thing. I swear, the like, the shapes that people make swaddles in nowadays are so hilarious. Doug was like, what is that? It looks like a little angel or like a, um, I don't know. He just thought it was so funny looking, but I like it because it has a zipper, which I think is handy. And yeah, it has a little pocket in the back, which, I guess oh wait there's like an opening in the back I think you like tuck in the bottom or something I'll have to look this up so it basically says that it replaces the need for loose sheets in a cot slash crib no loose layers for the baby to kick off during sleep all stuff I have never considered or thought of but I'm gonna learn patented wings may reduce the risk of baby accidentally rolling onto their tummy sketchy um so yeah interesting and they have different sizes so this is like the stage one so i'm guessing for like newborn and infant the next thing i got are these little swaddle blankets and this is from a brand called fawn hill co and these are 100 percent cotton muslin swaddles these look really cute they have a bunch of different designs one is in the exo pattern one has hearts on it and one has moon and stars and these things are huge I heard that you can use swaddles as burp cloths, but I feel like they're kind of rough. This is the swaddle folded in half. Um, so yeah, these look really nice and really sturdy. I always have to smell everything. It's so weird. The last thing I got was from another sh Etsy shop owner from Mint and Arrows. And I just posted about this on my Instagram, which if you aren't following me, I'll leave my Instagram handle above and below. But this is such a cute little swaddle. I think I'm going to bring this with me to the hospital, but so cute they have like a ton of different patterns also it has a matching knotted headband which i think is really cute but yeah speaking of stuff that i have to bring with me to my hospital still haven't completely packed my hospital bag i'm waiting for 
a maternity gown to come in the mail like I know this is so unnecessary so many of you guys tell me to just be really minimal and basic but if you knew me very well then you know that I like to just go above and beyond with a certain stuff and I'd rather pack more than less and then I don't know the hospital run out of something and I don't have something so yeah basically I'm waiting for my own maternity like birthing gown to come in the mail so I'm really excited about that to show you guys because it's so cute but yeah basically other than that I have everything pretty much packed um and I'm actually writing a list of all the stuff that Doug needs to add to our bags last minute like the stuff we use on an everyday basis like my laptop makeup can't forget that and stuff that we're not gonna keep in the bag until we leave because I just know we're gonna I don't know something's gonna happen like I'll start my contractions or my water will break and we're gonna rush out the door and then I'm gonna forget my laptop or my camera or something really critical and so I'm gonna have like little um, like a list for all the stuff he needs to check off that's in the bag if I can't do it if I'm in too much pain or something I have no idea um, but the other day I thought I was going into labor because I was getting really bad like I don't know pains but I realized it was probably just like gassy pains after eating um pasta so it wasn't anything but it was so weird because I sincerely thought I was going into labor and I started to freak out like I don't know a wave of emotion came over me that was like I am so not ready for this so when I actually go into labor I'm probably gonna cry because I'm gonna be scared and overwhelmed so we will see if I can even vlog that but I'll try um, so yeah everything is pretty much done besides the TV for the nursery and packing my hospital bag completely but I am gonna put up the nursery tour next week for you guys so stay tuned for that and I'll announce her name as well but yeah that's basically it for this video it's kind of short because I have nothing else to say I mean I'm almost done with this pregnancy and I'm so grateful like a lot of you guys say that I'm gonna miss my bump, but I don't think I am. I don't know if that's a bad thing to say or if that's just me being, I mean, that is me being honest. I don't like having, I just don't like, I don't know, how do I say this politely? Because a lot of people I know cannot carry and that breaks my heart because it's so sad. But I just, I don't know, maybe I'm just jaded or I'm taking it for granted, but it's just a lot of pressure being pregnant. I don't know. And I constantly worry about like if I'm doing things right and I don't even have my baby yet. And you guys tell me that it's going to be 10 times worse when I actually have a baby. So yeah, the anxiety is real. So this is my belly for 38 weeks. I'm wearing maternity leggings. There's like a fluff ball. Um, but yeah, it's definitely much bigger than before. I haven't gotten any new stretch marks, which I'm thankful for but I feel like I'll get them at the last minute. And my Linnea Negra is finally showing down here, but I can't even see it unless I'm looking on the camera because my belly's too big. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Definitely check out the rules to enter the giveaway below for the mobile if you want it for yourself or if you wanted to gift it to a friend or something. It's super easy to enter. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I don't deliver this week because I want to be full. Actually, I will be full term next week. So maybe I will. We'll see. Um, but I will definitely announce it on my Instagram and my Snapchat everything when I go into labor because that's just how I am. So make sure to follow me on there if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.